guys, fragrance is over and we are now sitting talking about what we liked, what, uh, is, what is worth mentioning, but most important, we're celebrating now Miguel's uh, launch of Miguel's fragrances with the Bravo, Miguel! Miguel. Yeah. Thank you. So, a little bit about Miguel's fragrances. I know that Sanya were there. Yes, definitely. And uh, uh, those are fragrances that everybody should try. And I think they kind of stole the show this year because there were so many different compositions and so many interesting interpretations of various themes. I would like to mention the lemon one, uh, Chitrea Prosciutto, I think, Miguel, yeah. was it? Yeah, it's a very good lemon that lasts long on your skin, uh, which is not uh, uh, usually something lemon do. <laughs> yeah. And another one, which I think will be a hit, is Robin which is an interesting interpretation of a tuberose uh, with aldehydes. So it's not a typical tuberose, it's a very out there, it's very pop uh, and it suits the, the theme of Miguel's whole collection. So uh, Miguel, do you want to say something more <laughs> about your line? <laughs> well, I was, I'm very happy and very surprised that we managed to do the, all this work uh, in such a short period of time because I was invited by the brand in uh, in Exxon, in Milan, and we developed everything according to also the roots of the brand because Bruno Acampore used to be part of the crowd of Studio 54, so everything has a reason to exist. And it was a real pleasure to work with with the brand. It was I'm very privileged and honored to, to be here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so now maybe we will just mention what we liked. It was a very relaxing show. Uh, a lot of warm fragrances, very a lot, a lot of marine fragrances, as a leather, gourmand, incense, mint. Mint is a part of composition, so it wasn't like to your face. Mm. So talking about mint, uh, Mindita Rosa changed a little bit her talento, and it's now better. Rose and mint without any aromatic noise so she had saffron in it so it's now more about mint and rose and it's very beautiful it's much better than it was yeah, I, I, love, I, I, I think after accents where we started to see some new mints coming and uh, there was some prejudice i think before about the note of mint being so associated with toothpaste but the perfumers found a way to discover new facets of mint and I think we, I, we see every now and then new ways of smelling mint on different kinds of mint with rose or with aromatics, fresh or sweeter but it's interesting to see such a common ingredient to be worked in a different way. Especially after Maglet. Yes, yes. Everybody can do it. Yeah. <laughs> True. I, I especially like um, uh, a fair like this for the newest brands that are presenting themselves. There's always a extra energy and extra uh, enthusiasm with those uh, newest brands that we don't know yet. One of them that I really liked was, uh, the name is Atelier Materi. They brought, I think, five fragrances that were all really good and they looked really good in beautiful flacons with, um, with um, golden tops that were made of super cool material and uh, the ones that I really liked were the, the queer one, uh, the, the leather uh, fragrance and the pomelo one which was a fresh fragrance but very very long lasting on the skin and I was very impressed with them, I think you liked them too. Yes, uh, I really liked the one with Andrette which is uh, supposed to be like a clean white shirt of a perfume which can be uh, also sexy like on a woman or, or on a man that's what the brand said yes. and I feel like that the fragrance is just like that uh, the musk uh, and some aromatic notes really stay along with you uh, but it smells um, it smells clean and sophisticated. I think that is, that those are very well-rounded perfumes and those are perfumes that I think will be uh, could be very popular yes. in the future. Yes, I agree. It's a completely new brand. Also, one other new brand we can 
interesting concept and we have one bottle here with Sergey, <laughs> so he can also talk about them. Yeah, I will. But, uh, this, um, <laughs> What I wanted to say is uh, that there is uh, that they are not what you would expect when you. <laughs> they are dramatic, more dramatic. No. Uh, there is one with leather, iris, and orange, which is. Yeah, and you can put them on your hair, which for me is very important. So my hair can also smell nice. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, talking about new brands. It's actually a place for new brands to yeah. come and introduce themselves to the public yeah. because so it's it will so I smell many 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 new brands that we didn't know before. And that's what a good thing about this show in particular. There is some freshness that comes yeah. from the fact that there are so many new small brands that we didn't know before. Mm -hmm. And I think that was very refreshing. But Sergey wants to talk about this stuff. Yeah. It's my time. <laughs> okay. Uh, my time. <laughs> Me? Okay. First, uh, I would love to say that uh, PD Fragmento still is the kindergarten for the new brands, new niche brands. It's the first step to the market uh, to establish itself on the perfumery world. And uh, I found quite a lot of new brands here some of them were new only for me some of them were new for all of us and i would love to mm, note that there is one new trend in niche perfumery which is cheap niche not 100 plus not 200 plus bottle but bottle this one a step aboard 100 I think 200 ml cost 69 euros only five of them are devoted to Milano and the perfumer is Bertrand du Chaffaut, the famous perfumer so it's quite cheap thing to have a piece of beauty in your collection in your wardrobe and to wear whenever, whenever you want that's the third, first thing and another oh, 55 59 sorry and another one is Essential Parfum, made by Geraldine from Paris. And she unconsciously uh, repeat the way of Frédéric Mal, working with perfumers of big corporations and making great perfumes with the name of perfumer with uh, no constraint on price. So it's great perfumes of big perfumers cost you 69 euros only. This is the price that uh, in, uh, in the middle of 90s several times were sold for. Now nobody remember that, but it was the true price of niche perfume some days. And I'm glad that prices goes down as well. That niche goes mass market, niche goes to, yeah, to the people. More art for the, for the simple people. For, Normal people. I agree. And next, Mark. <laughs> ah, okay. I totally agree with the girls. Actually, uh, that uh, the, this brand is awesome and the grapefruit and bread and sandalwood yes. and iris and uh, and co cocoa. Yes, uh, yeah. also the is there. Materi, right? yes. mm -hmm. But for me, the best fragrance which I tried in this fair is uh, 2787 Sonar which is dedicated to a very famous music festival. And uh, actually I tried this uh, for the first time like one year ago, also in the Florence last, uh, in the Florence last year. Uh, I think it's a very good example of uh, their very abstract uh, composition because uh, it's not like, you know, sandalwood and, and lemon uh, or like iris and cure stuff because uh, it's very hard to just, you know, analyze it and, and, and name the components, yeah. Uh, some people say that it's tubers for me, it's like... Some people nothing say to, it's beer. Yeah, yeah, some people say it's beer. <laughs> nothing to do with the tubers and with beer for me, personally. But it's, this is an awesome composition, uh, which is very, very abstract. But uh, in the same way, it's very wearable and very, very beautiful, very comfortable. Yeah. 
and Simple and complex. Well, yeah, yeah, so no, this is uh, made by, uh, this is filled with uh, captives from the Jivadan, so it's not possible to, you know, repeat for <laughs> usual people. This is very important because like, it's like, you know, triumph of uh, chemistry somehow, yeah. <laughs> about simple pleasures just for the final consideration so it's um, I would suggest uh, white heliotrope by Piver and dark quinote dark quinote right it's yes. not quinote. quinote dark it's like coke it's actually it's Italian beverage but to pine American people most probably it would be like lemon coke with, this is coke pine with some woodsy stuff yeah it's very refreshing very simple and it's very pleasing Heliotrope so, wine is a very old fragrance. From yes, the, very but old. it's so nice. It's stunning. Yeah. stunning. Uh, after leather, yeah. after this dark stuff, like before, for example, new fragrance. So many fragrances to Will explore. Smiling. So, <laughs> <laughs> <and> smiling. <laughs>